If you watch me play, you probably think, man, there's a lot of stuff going on there. But in reality, everything that I play can be broken down into five basic strokes. We're going to learn the first of those five strokes today, the rebound. Now the concept of the rebound is very simple. I'm going to throw the stick at the drum, it's going to hit and rebound back to me. If you've ever dribbled a basketball, you probably know what the rebound stroke feels like. If I take a ball and I toss it to the floor, it's going to hit the floor, bounce back up to me. All I have to do to continue the dribble is to push it down. The basketball does all the work. I don't have to control it up and down. It'll hit the floor, bounce to me. Watch how easy it is for me to dribble my stick. Notice that it doesn't take a lot of effort. All I'm doing is pushing the stick down with my fingers. I'm not controlling the stick with my, with my arm. And in a lot of ways, this is why students will have problems because they've never learned the rebound stroke correctly. Think about how silly it would look if you took that basketball and you were playing basketball with your friends and you're dribbling the ball like this up and down, controlling it all the way. When a lot of students don't learn the rebound stroke correctly, they wind up controlling the stick. So instead of playing really nice, very easy rebound strokes, they wind up controlling it. So let's teach you how to do the rebound stroke correctly. Start with the stick in the set position. I want to make sure that my tip is in the center, my hand looks good, and all that's perfect. My X-Acto pad is great because I can just look down and easily tell that I'm exactly in the right position. So I'm going to take my stick and I'm going to lift it up and what I'm doing here is allowing those back fingers to get some space between the palm of the hand so that my stick has some room there. That's very, very important. So what I'm going to do here, my stick is in the up position, I'm going to throw it to the drum head and allow it to rebound back to the up position. Now there's a couple of important points here, and that is that I'm not controlling the stick. Usually students who control the stick will do one thing. They'll squeeze the stick with the back fingers, okay? That's why I gotta have that play in there. The other thing that I'm doing is I'm hitting the drum. I'm not barely hitting it. So if I barely hit the drum, then the stick is not gonna have the velocity to get back to the up position. I gotta throw it down there pretty good. Notice I'm not picking my stick back up. I want you to think of the stick rebounding back to the up position. I do exactly the same thing with my left hand. Start with the stick in the up position, check my uh, back of my fingers to make sure there's some wiggle room in there, throw it, rebounds correctly every single time. A couple of checkpoints to make sure is to make very sure that your fulcrum is intact every single time. I see students all the time that will just uh, grip their sticks in a claw grip when they start learning how to do this. Got to make sure that the thumb is up on the stick and that you've got that fulcrum correct. All of those checkpoints that we talked about earlier when we learned how to grip the stick are very important here. So this is a point where you need to stop the video and go practice. Get in front of a mirror, watch your hands, see if you can make perfect rebound strokes. Don't try to go really fast, just throw the stick and have it bounce back to you. Stop the video, go practice. Okay, I'm assuming that you actually stopped the video and went and practiced your rebound stroke and stood in front of a mirror. If you're just sitting on a couch eating some Cheetos and expecting to get a lot better by watching me play, it ain't gonna happen. So stop the video and go practice. All right, I'm gonna give you your assignment for the week, and this is gonna take an entire week, and this is where you gotta have some patience. We are gonna play rebound strokes with our right hand at 60 beats per minute on our metronome. And we're gonna do this for five minutes straight. Okay, five minutes doesn't seem like a lot of time when you're watching TV or playing outside, but five minutes seems like an eternity when you're just playing rebound strokes. This is where you gotta have that patience. So five minutes on 60 beats a minute. Here's what it's gonna look like. Got the beat, go. Now I'm paying attention to all those things that are important. My fulcrum, stick going straight up and down, 
hitting right in the center of the drum pad, okay? All those things are very important. Five minutes on the right hand, five minutes on the left hand. That's the first day. In my percussion class, that's what we do on our first day or the first time that we get all our sticks and everything set. So I don't go on. I don't go any faster than that. On day number two, you're going to move the metronome up to 80. Do exactly the same thing. Five minutes on the right, five minutes on the left. Day number three, 100. Day number four, 120. Now what's important here and what you're doing by repetitive practice is you're teaching your muscles to respond correctly every single time. Okay, we're getting that muscle memory happening. So here's what it's going to look like at 120 beats per minute. All the way through, I'm looking at my fulcrum, making sure my, my grip is correct. I'm making sure I'm hitting it in the center. All of those things are very, very important. So don't rush the process. 60 on the first day, 80, 100, 120. It's going to take an entire week for you to develop the muscle memory that it takes. And then, once you've got that down, you'll be ready for lesson one.